One of our main goals for our PA students is that we want them to really be able to make clinical decisions. And one of the ways that we enable them to do that is by using our simulation lab. We have high fidelity simulators and what that means is the simulators are capable of being programmed with different cases. We can uh, get the mannequins to speak. Oh, good. Feel better? We can change all of their vital signs independently, their heart sounds, lung sounds, abdominal sounds, and then we can spontaneously introduce uh, perturbations in the, in the patient's uh, health as well. You may be working with a patient you suspect has pancreatitis, but all of a sudden their vitals are dropping and all of a sudden you have to change and switch to a resuscitation case. Clear. Always curveballs. They always throw something at us that you're not ready for, which is really great um, because then you get a chance to iron out some of the details of what you're good at and what you're not good at. Clear. The diversity of the patients that were the scenarios that we're able to treat is almost endless at this point. One of the, the, the key parts of the, of the sim, simulation lab is to give the, the students some real-time feedback on their actions. So they can give a medication, for example, and the simulation will change the patient's response, respiration, heart rhythms, vital signs, uh, lung sounds uh, on a dynamic basis, and they can see that feedback and become attentive uh, to that sort of thing. So when you're in this case in the sim lab and you give a treatment, you're talking with your teammates, you've decided upon a course of action and you see you know, the vitals improving, I mean that's, there's no better feeling and you can translate what's happening in sim lab directly to a real patient experience. We're able to do interventions such as IVs, we're able to do intubations, we're able to have the students practice these really key um, skill sets that they need to have as PAs and enabling them to do that in a setting that is somewhat controlled and that makes them feel comfortable and confident. One of the, the best features of simulation is actually what we call the breakdown. We're able to record our students while they're performing a simulation case and for them to view that. Without having this hands-on experience I feel like I would I would really be going in into the field underprepared. Alright, so let's start an IV. Everything that happens here could happen in real life. Clear. And that's what makes the sim lab so beneficial. It makes me excited about the clinical year and going out into the real world and treating real patients and feeling prepared to do that. <laughs>